News 46 is brought to you in part by... The residents and staff of the Beehive Home would like to thank everyone for their help and support throughout the year and wish you all... Happy, Happy Holidays! <laughs> Hi, how are you guys doing? Very, very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy New Year to all out there. Merry Christmas to you. Tell me what we're doing here today. I know that we've been doing this for a number of years. Well, again, this was started by three ladies, Lou Komarowski, Mary Ridley, and myself, because I, we were asking, was anything done on Christmas Day? For years, since 1960, uh, holiday dinner has been done in Pahrump Valley on Thanksgiving, but I did not know if anything was being done on Christmas Day. So the three of us ladies got together, and voila, this is what it's developed into. It's very popular. Very, very popular. We've had so many people that come and help, and you know, you try to remember everybody. Our search and rescue, the sheriff's office, Shepherd of the Valley, um, Pastor uh, Fairbarns Church, uh, I know that we have some we have some different things here um, this time, and that's some decorations that we have. The decorations this year were done partially donated by the party store, uh, Pastor Julie Platt's church, and the AmeriCorps from the um, Nye Community Coalition came with the Shepherd of the Valley to help decorate. And we have some gifts up front, too, as well. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we have, um, I think that was from the Toys for Tots. The administration office, our county administration office, donated um, bears. But to get that information, please see uh, Commissioner Butch Baraski. <laughs> There you go, and Butch Baraski's out there um, actually volunteering his time, as well as our sheriff back here who's doing kind of the logistics. He's doing the logistics, yes, and we're doing very well. What is that for? That is for deliveries, right? All our to-go orders, and so far we've delivered about, I'm going to say 236 to 240 dinners. Only a few have come back, and now we have some more dinners that are going to go out. So I'm thinking it's going to be anywhere from 240 to 250 dinners. Wonderful. And I know on Thanksgiving, we delivered the dinners. These are all for homebound, and we have a lot of drivers out there donating their time and their gas, going house to house and delivering to people who can't come out and get their dinners. Yes, we have um, some young mothers. They can't get out because of their children, or they, some young mothers who just had children. We have some ill people that... Um, it's just not good for them to come out. They're not comfortable coming out. But in this community, so we had one lady who wanted to be picked up, and then she called me and she said that someone de delivered meals to her, uh, food for her to cook, and so she was staying home. So it's been an absolutely incredible uh, holiday. Merry Christmas in our Pahrump Valley. We got the senior center out there, too, bringing seniors in with their own vehicle, too, as well, right? I think that I'm not sure who donated. We pay for that senior uh, vehicle to pick people up, but I'm not quite sure who paid for it this year. Thank During Thanksgiving, it was uh, Commissioner Butch Baraski who paid for it, but I don't know who paid for it for Christmas. I heard a couple of things. That's great. And then um, some of the things that we had an issue with the Thanksgiving dinner was we had to have some restaurants donated because there were some issues on that. Is there still that issue with the food? Yes, our wonderful health department, in keeping with watching out for everybody, uh, we do go to the restaurants. The Homestead Cafe has cooked quite a few uh, turkeys and the meal and delivered it hot here. Tomasino's cooked 10 turkeys, stuffing, and five gallons of uh, gravy. And Irene's donated free the pies and the butter. And of course, our wonderful Heat Co. always gives us the bread for free. And that's because before we, the search and rescue used to cook the food themselves, but the health department now wants it cooked at a restaurant. Well, no, we used to, for Thanksgiving, we used to have everything cooked in our we would put out a letter to our, our organizations and churches, and then they would deliver all the food to us. Hell, search and Rescue, we would only do hams 
for Christmas because it was easy and Search and Rescue used to heat up all the hams because they're already cooked and heat up all the rest of the fixings because everything is really already prepared. We're just heating everything up. Yes. But now we have all these wonderful restaurants that are donating all their time and money and effort on doing this. This is such a great thing. Are we having an Easter one coming up? Yes, we are planning on the one on Saturday. Uh, and we will start working on that probably in March, getting that one together. You know, we see so many young people in Easter, and it's such a wonderful event for our community to come together again. So we're enjoying our holiday dinners. And this time, for Easter, any of you wonderful crafty people, I'm looking for angels only to come and walk around. So if you're so you want to, people dressed as angels? People dressed as angels. I want beautiful costumes. I'm thinking it'll be something, maybe we'll start something here in our Pahrump Valley with our angels. How can people contact you, Linda? Well, as usual, 209-4683. That's 209-4683. Thank you so much for speaking with us. I know that you're busy out there. We've got a lot of happy faces. Thank you. And thank you all out there for all your love and support to our community. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to all.